Well, in around eight hours' time, we'll get the July minutes from the U.S. Federal Reserve's policy meeting. It could add fuel to the capital flight that is taking place in Asia. Stocks and currencies have been battered this week on fears the U.S. will soon cut its bond buying. Yang Chunxi has the story. The FOMC's July meeting minutes are expected to tell when the U.S. government will wind down its asset purchase programs. Well, I think people are, are waiting for those minutes, uh, sitting on pins and needles, because right now, uh, with the feeling that uh, Fed tapering will occur, uh, the hope and expectation is that we'll gather some clues as to how much Fed tapering will occur, depending on, uh, on the nature or the temperature of those minutes. Traders expect the Fed to announce the cut at its September meeting. Analysts say the move will lift U.S. bond yields and the attraction of dollar assets. But the other side of the coin is the exit from emerging markets. The expectation of tapering has already hit Asian market hard. The Jakarta Composite Index is down about 8 percent this week. The Indian rupees exchange rate to the U.S. dollar hit a record low on Tuesday. And its 10-year Treasury yield broke 9 percent, a five-year high. My suspicion is that the Federal Reserve will want to set a uh, uh, put a stake on the ground and do Fed tapering in September. I think where the debate comes uh, and it makes it interesting is how large is the tapering going to be? The market is expecting uh, roughly 20 billion. My suspicion is that if the uh, nature of the debate and the, and the data between now and the uh, FOMC meeting, in particular the employment report that comes out in early September is not as strong, the central bank may opt to move that number a little bit lower but not necessarily postpone the, uh, uh, the act of, uh, of tapering, but rather modify it based on uh, current economic conditions. Analysts say the U.S. stock and bond markets need clearer signals from the Fed, and the greenback is still weak compared with the euro. Capital freed from emerging markets may not turn to U.S. dollar-traded assets, but running to saver assets, like those traded in euro and sterling. Yang Chengxi, CCTV.